guys, Drew Dora here. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I know they go by way too fast. <laughs> uh, today I'm making a video of uh, some Funko Pops that I've been meaning to make a video of. They were a uh, gift from some people that I absolutely adore. Um, I play Final Fantasy XIV with them. We're in the same uh, free company. Uh, it is a Harry Potter themed uh, free company. We don't do any of the role play or anything like that, but the FC house is decorated by different things of the Harry Potter universe. It's very cool. <laughs> um, so the first thing I'm going to show you, it's not a Funko Pop, but it's still pretty cool, and it came with a note. Don't know if you can see it. It says, our dear Odo, think of this blanket as a hug we wish we could give you. Love you from the ethereals. Thanks guys. I definitely keep kept it. <laughs> and this is the blanket they sent. House Slytherin, because that is one of the houses I was sorted in. I'm currently the head <laughs> of Slytherin. <laughs> We're all doomed. <laughs> I'll probably open it in the winter. It's been pretty warm since we've got it. That, and I just like it in the plastic. It looks so nice. <laughs> um, the next one is uh, my actually my top Funko Pop right now. It's been skyrocketing on uh, the Funko app. And that is Buckbeak, Flocked Hot Topic. Uh, he's uh, 79 Canadian on the Funko app right now. I love how much detail he has in him. Just wish there was not so much glare. I know he's not exactly a brand new, just out Funko Pop. There was quite a few times I talked myself out of getting him when I went to the Hot Topic, so thank you guys for sending this. And the other Funko Pop they sent was a Thesril. Very fitting. If you've ever seen the Harry Potter universe, only a certain type of person that has experienced certain things can actually see a Thessreal. Definitely fitting. I'm not going to go into the detail. If you want to find out about that, you can look it up. <laughs> but yeah, um, those are my Funko Pops. They also sent us a bunch of food, but... <laughs> snacks. We definitely shared them and ate them very quickly. They were very good. <laughs> um, also, before I close off, I was at the dollar store today and came across Grocery Gang. Your food going rotten. I only got one. They were a dollar, but I thought it would be amazing to open on something. <laughs> So let's see what kind of spoiled food we have in here. Right, so it came like this. Came with two little bags. I think it has a little flag. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of options. I don't know if it'll focus. Let's see what one we got. And oh, they look like they go on top of a pen. <laughs> Not sure what he is. Let's get his little flaggy out. I can find him on here. Like a fire hydrant thing. I have a feeling it's spewy slush. <laughs> um, where is he? Slush doesn't have an eye patch. There's way too many of these. 
Aha. He is Tacky Telescope. <laughs> He's that one right there. This little focus. He's at the very top, so he's probably one of the easier ones to get. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's my dollar store mystery pen topper thing. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. Take care.